why we practice these tools. And I started to talk about this momentarily at the beginning, um, especially people who want to learn how to read. They're like, why do we have to do that? Because I already know how to get intuition. I've been, intuit I've been intuitive before, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't mean to say blah, blah, blah. But essentially, it's like, you know, let's get on with it. Um, we do have to expand our window. And I use the metaphor of working out in the gym when you're trying to get strong and working out with weights or build your conditioning. We, we do have to keep working on that ability to expand our window. It doesn't just happen automatically, that we do have to do it on purpose until we get some system in place that it can become automatic where we expand our window. I mean, other ways to expand our window is like, you know, Nancy talked about doing another program or whether you're doing spiritual study or any, anything you're doing that makes your awareness bigger is helpful to where you see the world in a different way. Um, but specifically for psychic reading, playing with energetic tools, perceiving with your intangible awareness, looking with your inner eye, uh, perceiving things around you, whether it's earth energy, cosmic energy, your aura, any of that, it helps you begin to become familiar with intangible realities. Because sometimes that's what people have a challenge with who may already be intuitive or having intuitive processes. They hit certain energies that are out there and don't really understand what they are and uh, and this kind of get locked and don't under and think, oh, well, I'm intuitive, but not that intuitive. So it's, it's really just to help expand the window. And then the second thing, familiar with perceiving energy. And I use that graphic of certain versus uncertain. That's what all psychics, intuitives, that, that's what we're all looking for. Where is my certainty and my process? So when I call on energy, when I have a question or I'm reading someone, how do I know it's real information? And familiarity with the process of perceiving energy is half the battle. If you have a process that works for you, you'll be able to rely upon it. And so these practices and, and gaining mastery just with these types of tools helps with that as well. And gaining certainty with our perception. I mean, that is the whole name of the game. How do I, how do I know that what I'm seeing is is accurate. I don't like that word, but how do I know that it has a value to what's going on right now? And finally, to, we have to release an energy that limits our awareness, and I call that atheist energy and the analyzer. So uh, we've been conditioned a lot in our culture and continue to be conditioned a lot about, you know, only what you can see exists. And I'm a big science person. I love science. But it, science alone is not enough. And there's so much that science doesn't know. Um, and I'm a big quantum physics person as well, which is also science. But we have a lot of conditioning that wants to tell us who we are, that what is true and what is real. And we have to continually, uh, I don't want to say battle, but we have to continue to be aware that that energy exists. And I call it in two things. I call it the atheist energy, which wants to say uh, what is outside of us, what is a, that is not seen, doesn't exist. To me, that's atheist energy. It's the denial of intangible reality. Um, and our analyzer plays into that because a lot of people who are intuitive are also smart. And so their mind, you know, is saying, oh, well, I don't want to be excluded. I don't want people to judge me, or maybe it's not reliable because my intuition has only been, you know, on an eight, on a one to 10 scale or whatever, however you want to small yourself down. So, um, you know, we have to continue to use these tools like grounding, running energy to dissipate that programming that's been in our system and get ourselves out of the habit of only using our analyzer to, to determine the value of something we're doing. Uh, and so that's an ongoing process that can happen through energy work, it can happen through study, it can happen through um, anything that expands who you are will also expand your perception. Uh, but knowing that releasing that energy is an ongoing challenge because only about half the planet believes that intuition or psychic awareness exists and the other half doesn't, kind of like our political spectrum.